If you're new to the channel, my name is Zakia, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. On this channel, I share everything from home to decor to lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my bedroom makeover, and I am so excited about this makeover. I'm going to be incorporating a lot of the things that really, truly make me happy in my decor because your bedroom should truly be your happy place. As I shared with you guys in my last bathroom video, the rooms in my house are relatively small because this is an older home and there were a number of things that I wanted to accomplish in this room. I wanted to have a sitting space, I wanted to have a mirror, and I wanted to have storage, and I also wanted the room to look really pretty and to feel very comfortable. So I recently got a new bed, which is this white upholstered queen bed, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bed. I will not knock the bed, but I will knock the fact that I got a white upholstered bed that is not slip covered. I just don't know how well this bed is going to fare, but we will see with a little bit of time how the white holds up. So I'm getting started with a fresh set of sheets from Ikea and these sheets are really soft and really cozy. So I will link them down below in the description box. I personally really, really like white sheets because they're so versatile. They always just give you such a really clean, fresh look. And they're a lot easier to clean than other colors of sheets, in my opinion. And right here, you can see that I'm just running a warm iron over the sheets just to take out the larger wrinkles. Right here, I'm using the Ikea Tiffied rug, and I'm just draping it over the backboard of the bed just for a little bit of style, color, and protection. I've used this rug before. I have one right now draped over my sofa in my living room. It has a great color and a great texture, and it is only $14.99, so you definitely need to check that out. Right now we'll be moving over to the dresser and this is the lamp that I'm going to be using which is a lamp that actually started out like this and I actually painted this myself and I will leave a link to the tutorial where I show you guys how to do this technique. Next I'm just putting back the artwork that I had here originally because I really really like this artwork. I love the beach and I love that this is such a neutral color palette. Next, I'm using this stone tray that I got from Target a little while ago. I really like the color and the shape of this tray, and I'm using this tray to add a little bit of luxury to the room. And when I say luxury, I'm not necessarily talking about expensive. I mean those things that make us feel indulgent in our everyday lives. I like to have this lotion here in a beautiful bottle. I like to have a glass of water at night just in case I need it throughout the night and I just love having little indulgences like this it makes your bedroom so much more comfortable and personal so I've stacked a few of my favorite coffee table books here and on top of that I'm adding this black wood vessel which I absolutely adore I'm not always into darker colors but I love this because the wood grain is still visible and it looks so organic I just think it's such a beautiful piece it is from amber interiors and I have paired it with this beautiful pink silk grass from a floral and I am absolutely obsessed with with this grass and just for your reference this is two bunches of the grass just in case you're interested in ordering it next i'm just putting back my jewelry stand i ordered this from wisteria a few years back they don't carry it anymore so i will link a similar one from amazon the one that i have is a genuine marble base and the one that i am going to link from amazon is not actually marble but it does look like marble I like this piece because it is highly functional, but it is really, really beautiful. I think that the gold finish on this is absolutely perfect. 
I like to keep my rooms fairly simple, but I like to add pieces that have impact, like this decorative piece that I got at Target. It's a very unique piece that really just adds a lot of personality. Then I'm gonna use these African bone beads to drape right over the knob of my lamp. It's almost like jewelry for my bedroom. And here I'm using this beautiful linen coverlet as the bedspread. And at the foot of the bed, I'm layering this block printed Indian tapestry over my bench. I don't have much space on the side of my bed, so I'm just using this recycled stool from Zara Home. And on top of that, I'm placing a thrifted wooden vessel. And in that vessel, I am putting this beautiful dried florals from, again, A Floral. I'm going with linen again on the pillows. And these pillow covers are from Amazon. They are linen. They are incredibly soft. And the button detailing down the sides is really really beautiful the covers for the sleeping pillows are from ikea they came in a set with those sheets that i showed you guys earlier this blush pillow cover is from h m home it is a washed linen and it is also incredibly soft the final pillow cover is also from h m home i love the color i love the texture the fringe and now we're gonna move over to the other side of the room. And this side of the room is where I have my floor length mirror and I've got my seating and I've got the storage. So now we just need to bring it all together and make it look pretty. I really wanted a big, big mirror here and this mirror really fits the bill. I don't know if you guys can tell on screen or not, but this is a really, really large mirror. It's taller than the typical floor mirror and wider. This armchair is from Ikea and I've had it for several years. I love having white slip covered furniture because you can just take the slip cover off and wash it anytime you need to. This is just a cotton neutral colored throw and I think that these are especially perfect for summer and spring. I am someone who is still very much into the magic of a paper page magazine. So I love to sit over here and flip through the pages of magazines. Some of the magazines I have actually collected for over 10 years and I still look through them. This stunning, stunning stool is from Amazon and I was actually worried about the quality of it before I received it. But let me tell you, this is so sturdy and so beautiful. On the side table here, I'm just putting this thrifted vase that I refinished with chalk paint. To fill the vase, I just headed out to my yard and grabbed a few branches off of this beautiful, beautiful tree. It just doesn't get any better than a decor moment like this, where you've got comfort and function and beauty. Across from the armchair is this beautiful thrifted vintage armoire and I refinished this. I haven't quite finished the feet because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the feet or not, but I did paint this white and I added new handles. These handles are from Amazon and I absolutely love them. I think that the finish is just perfect. It really complements that timeless classic feeling that I'm going for with this piece. For a little bit of extra storage and warmth, I added this basket on top of the armoire and I added a couple of my block print fabrics because seeing them makes me happy. On the windows, I have Ikea Roman shades and I have curtains from Amazon. I will be sure to link it all down in the description box. And now it is time for the final touch, which is the artwork above the bed. And I just printed this out from Etsy and put it in one of my Ikea frames. Right now, I'm gonna share the reveal of the room and I'm gonna ask you guys that if you enjoy this content or found any inspiration, please like, share, comment, and subscribe because I would love to keep sharing content like this with you. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time.